Alex and Monica, thank you very much for joining me for this interview. Based Hello. Upon, we'll, we'll have a bit of a laugh. I didn't start recording uh, beforehand. So this is like the third time we've greeted each other. Uh, so it's, yeah. it's awesome. <laughs> thank God. Alrighty, uh, I'm going to get you two to briefly introduce yourselves because believe it or not, there may be some people who don't know you. Uh, I, I don't know how, like you two are just great. But anyway, so we'll, we'll get you to introduce yourself. Alex, I'm going to go with the ladies first. So Monica, if you'd like to give a brief introduction to yourself, please and thank you. Thank you. My name is Monica. I'm 27 years old and I'm a primary school teacher. God bless. And she's also younger than me. Thank God. <laughs> That's, that's going to be great. I feel like I'm going to be giving some words of wisdom finally to somebody. <laughs> that's always welcome. <laughs> always. Alex, please, sir, go ahead with your introduction. Uh, my name's Alex. I'm 28 and I'm a hairdresser. God bless. And that explains his fine hair and his fantastic facial hair. <laughs> <laughs> so much better than me. Anyways, <laughs> let's... Let's get into it. So, uh, obviously, the whole point of the interview is we're talking about the Alpha course. So, we're talking about you two as a couple and also as individuals before the Alpha course, during, and then afterwards. And I'm going to be asking you for your experience in regards to it. So, I know you two had a faith life prior to the Alpha course. Now, let's just try and get some sort of straight answer here. Did the Alpha course improve that at all? Yes. 100 percent straight answer fantastic all right <laughs> let's grill the men first because it's not chivalrous to grill the ladies alex <laughs> what was your faith life like prior to the alpha course like what were you doing um i i was attending mass uh every so often uh it wasn't a it wasn't a need for me to go every week um and I feel like it's definitely changed that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I feel like that is a major part of it. Um, my faith, uh, just going to church every week and making sure that it doesn't matter what else. Well, it doesn't matter what I do that week, but um, I, I have to go to church every single week. <laughs> I like you, it doesn't matter what else is on. Yeah, it doesn't matter what else is on. I, I I have to make time for that every single week, and and there's nothing that there's there's no if ands or buts. It's it's just that I have to go now. I'm glad that you clarified that. It does matter what you do during the week. <laughs> that was very good. Uh, it does. <laughs> but please don't go ahead and start murdering everybody. That does no. count. <laughs> All right, very good. So. It's amazing how you started off with that and how the Alpha course helped you to get to that point. Because one of the things that we keep hearing is people aren't too comfortable with the Alpha course because it doesn't seem too Catholic enough. But funnily enough, the Alpha course has allowed you to start participating and coming more to a Catholic liturgy. So God bless, it's doing its job there. Uh, before we get to that point though, Monica, I'm going to ask you in regards to your faith life because you definitely do have a bit of an interesting journey. So go on as much detail as you as you feel like you want to really okay um i think we both grew up in really faithful families mm. so if we really start from the beginning i was always like instilled that faith um and relying on that really throughout your life mm. um, in the good times like being grateful and in the hard times like having that solid foundation as well so it's definitely been like a focus point or like a big part of my whole life. Um, I would say growing up, it probably went in like waves. Mm -hmm. So there would be times where, especially through the teenage years, we were more closer to the faith and then more about the friends and the going out and all those kinds of things. And then, getting closer to the faith again. Um, mm. But, yeah, I think when I met Alex, we, oh, it's just about me. <laughs> when oh, that's I met, fine. That's fine. Yeah, Go for it. When I met Alex, like, we would go to church together sometimes. Um, yeah, it just, it, different parts of my life, I guess. Mm. It, it's always been there and been the centre, but, like, more of a focus in some point and less of a focus in others. Mm. Um, 
Yeah. Beautiful. Fantastic. I think that kind of describes what everybody kind of goes through in yeah. a very uh, simple way. So that's awesome. Thank God. Yeah. So let's talk about the first time you get invited to Alpha. Now, Alex, I already know with you, because you cut Monsignor's hair, that you probably heard about the Alpha course 50,000 times. So <laughs> was it Monsignor who was the one that eventually convinced you? Or was it like every other man and it was your wife <laughs> that forced you to go? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> That was Mond. Uh, she she delivered the final blow, but um... <laughs> <laughs> the final blow was more like, oh, you know, Bob, I'm going tonight. Are you sure you don't want to come with me? That's that's like that's like... <laughs> yeah. not much of a blow, but yes. She not gave much. you she gave you the ultimatum. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she did. She said, "I'm going this time, and I'm not going to do it again. So if you want to come, then now's your chance." Um, but I shouldn't have listened to her because now she wants to do the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I expect to see your names registered <laughs> again, please God. Okay, so it wasn't Mon Senior, it was Mon Nika that eventually came Mon Nika, yeah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> good stuff. Okay, that's interesting. So, Monica, who invited you or who convinced you? Um, to be honest, I feel like I remember being in at Oak Hill Chapel and hearing people's testimonies. Wow. Yeah, it does go back that far. Yeah. Got it? Mm. I remember hearing testimonies there and then testimonies like every other season that it was on. I feel like I've been hearing testimonies for like years. And then we just, I always, like we always looked at each other and I don't know, like for whatever reason, it really stuff like mm. it, we were hearing it for a while mm. and never really went that next step like would never really would go to church hear all these wonderful things that were happening in the parish or the community but then just like not be a part of them I guess and then this year when they were advertising I think it started around or talking about it started around um Lent mm. and I was when it's around Lent I mean I really try and make more of an effort as everyone else does. So that seemed like one thing that I could put on the Lent list that I was like, you know, we don't only want to give up things. We want to try and do things as well. So that was like what I put on the list. It was more about the timing this time, I think. Mm. Very good. <clears throat> okay. And we have, yeah, we've been running it since 2018. So you're right. It goes yeah. back quite a bit. Yeah. Thank God. All right. Beautiful stuff. So. Let's get started into your first few weeks in the Alpha course. And we've heard a few times that people who generally start off with the Alpha course, it seems to drag. Now, for other people, it just, it's full steam ahead. It's fantastic. But then for other people, it does drag. So I'm interested to hear your experiences. So Monica, we'll go with you first. The first few weeks of the Alpha course, considering it's still somewhat fresh for you too, uh, what was it like? Um, I, in enjoyed going in the first few weeks in the sense of like everyone was super welcoming really friendly I feel like we immediately like make started making connections with really funny like you and I thought that to myself at the time you see people every Sunday like they're that's like people you should know but I didn't really know them ah uh, okay I get you yeah so yeah. like we got to meet new people and connect so in that way like I straight away started to enjoy it but I didn't really feel like it stuck in the first three weeks so I always say to people like you have to give it a proper go like a proper effort you, yeah because in the first few weeks like I can't say there was it as much as I loved like the welcoming and that connecting side of things um when I was watching the videos and they don't, they probably do that on purpose. They don't get too deep too quickly. <laughs> well, which does make sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I was just like, yeah, okay, this is interesting. But it wasn't till maybe after the first two weeks, I was like, it really started getting me thinking. Mm -hmm. And I really was thinking about it throughout the week. And I was really like, um, yeah, it was becoming more of the everyday, our everyday lives. Mm. So definitely have to just give it a good go if you're going to, try it and come more than one week. <laughs> <laughs> I 
at least give it one more than one yeah, week. Yeah, girl, she's free. <laughs> Alex, you're nodding in agreement. Is that essentially your experience as well? Um, yeah, honestly, I I just I just found I was um I was craving it by the time Monday came wow. and um just that just that time to to see the people that we've been connecting with um to see them every week and have a chat with them and um watch the videos it was um it was a good experience and i i i honestly still feel like i'm i'm craving craving more so in other words, we we will expect to see you on Wednesday, August. But more, <laughs> more than likely. <laughs> Very good. Thank God. It's amazing how you two are emphasizing more the conversations. It seems to be that 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 seems to be a yeah. main part of the Alpha course for you. And I'm going to come back to that point a bit later on. Yeah. But let's get to a really big part about the Alpha course, and that is the retreat day. Now, hopefully, you two were able to participate in that. And one of the big experiences or one of the main uh, aspects of the retreat day is actually having that experience with God, especially through prayer ministry. Now, first question, did you have any experience with prayer ministry prior to that retreat day? Yeah, I think we had. Yeah, yeah that wasn't we the went, first time. We yeah. went, uh, yeah, we went to the uh, charismatic prayer night. Very good. I think, I think it was like a week or two before. So we kind of got a, a feel. Okay, so you you did the little bit of a snippet. I like it. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. The previous interview literally said the same exact thing as well. So this communication there. Okay, so let me ask you something because I think this is a very uh, misunderstood part. When you were being prayed for, and Alex, I'll go with you first. Any did any deep emotions come? Did did you start crying? Like, tell me, what was your experience? No, no, I can't. I- I didn't I didn't feel like crying or um bursting out in laughter or anything like that um it was it was just a a relaxing calm experience and um yeah I I I didn't have kind of any sort of uh what would you call it I don't know like a... I get what you like. Yeah. Some people say that they yeah. will have a certain experience. I get what you're talking yes. about. Some, more some people say they have that big, um, big experience, and they feel like uh, jumping for joy. Oh, but absolutely, yes. Yeah, it, it um it wasn't that for me, and it was just a it was just a nice experience in prayer. Beautiful, thank you. And God. a different and a different experience in prayer. Yeah. The reason why I stress it is because there's a misunderstanding that with prayer ministry, you yeah. meant to like you know feel like hippies almost like it's, mm-hmm. yeah. It's mm. all about like this peace and there's yeah. rainbows everywhere and everything's fine and dandy. And the reality of it is, it seems to be for more often than not, people it's very similar like your experience, Alex. That it's not necessarily this great moving experience, but there is still this element of peace. Yeah, peace. Uh, yeah, Monica. Anything for you? Anything different? Or was it essentially the same? Very much the same. Um, yeah, just a feeling of um, overcome with peace. I know, what, especially on the retreat day um, when I had prayer ministry and mm. prayed with the uh, group, I just felt like an, once we were finished, I felt like this overcoming sense of like joy. Mm. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Just what I think you expect the Holy Spirit to feel like. It's very like comforting and joyful and and calm and peaceful. And yeah, that was my experience. Thank God. That's wonderful. <clears throat> so then out of the entire Alpha experience, what was your real highlight? Monica, we'll go with you first. Was there any real, like, amazing moment? Oh, that's really hard. Is it hard I because it was full of amazing moments? Elements. Yeah, yeah, it's just like all the elements just made it such, like, a fruitful thing for, for me to do. Um, like, it was the retreat day was incredible. The Monday nights were incredible. 
the support that you get is awesome. Mm. Um, so I just feel like it all really works together to be such a lovely experience. Thank you, God. All right, let's go to you two as a couple. All right, so prior to Alpha, uh, what was what was your faith life like a couple? And let, let's go into real specifics. Like, for example, did you ever pray together? No, it was se- completely separate. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love that brutal honesty. Thank God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank God. Okay, so Alpha changed that. Now, all yeah. of a sudden, you've got this prayer life as a couple. Mm. That's brilliant. Monica, what did you notice different in Alex as a husband? Um, as a husband, not any... Okay. As a husband. We'll start yeah. with that specifically first, and then we'll go into generally yeah. speaking. <laughs> uh, why are you laughing, Alex? What am I expecting to hear? Oh, no. <laughs> I, I just want to think about it because it's being recorded. Like... <laughs> the good thing is this part can be edited out. So take I, think, <laughs> I think within himself, like he's already such an awesome guy, like so calm and so kind and thoughtful. Um, but I just think that there is like a sense of peace mm. that maybe wasn't there, that was probably wasn't there before. Very good. Just this sense of peace within something inside, yeah. That's interesting. And it's like almost as if you can't explain it, but you just know that it's there. Yeah. Mm. That's very interesting. Yeah. Alex, I don't want to put you in an awkward position, but did Monica change at all? <laughs> like as a as a wife. <laughs> and let's go specifically um, as a wife. Well well, I I didn't think she could get any better and she did. So Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a very good answer. <laughs> what a <safe> answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very good answer but so <laughs> what in what sense so you say that she was good prior so what was she good of what made her so good prior to alpha and what's just made her better yeah so um i, f- I feel like she i feel like she would um i'm freezing it's okay. <laughs> Um, I had to think about it too. It's a um, hard question. Hey, it's what I'm here for. I ask the difficult questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Take your time, by the way. Like, this part can be completely edited out, so don't stress. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll make you look good in the video, I promise. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man. <laughs> Got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel I feel like she, there was there was uh, more peace more peace in her life in some of the decisions that she would make and um, it it wasn't um, it it wasn't uh, she wouldn't decide things out of um, being scared or um, uh, it would it would more sort of be uh, out of trust and um, yeah, I think, I think a newfound trust and um, I, I know she had faith before we started Alpha, but I think just having that trust and um, that big, big belief um, that, yeah. yeah, that, that Jesus is there for us. That is a great answer. I'm glad that you took your time and figured out the answer. That was a great answer. Thank you. (laughs) So uh, let's talk about your relationship with God. So your relationship with God, the reason why I asked is because previously, in a previous interview, I was told that before in their eyes, God was this gray bearded old guy up in the heavens getting ready to zap us if we did something wrong. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, Monica, about your relationship prior to Alpha. So who was God in your life? What what role did he have to play? Um, I think that I had 
a belief that God <coughs> was, um, yeah, that's an interesting one. I, I trusted him. Mm. I had faith in him. I knew that he wanted ultimately what was good for us. So I'd try and tr- trust the big, his bigger picture, picture, his all knowing and all seeing. Mm. Um, I relied on him, but I still feel like it was more of a distant, like as much as I knew all those wonderful things, that he was my eternal father. I knew all those wonderful things, but I still feel like before Alpha, it was a bit more of a distant. Mm. Like I knew those things mm. and mm. that was kind of it, if that makes sense. Of course, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, so it's like you knew that God is all these things, but you didn't really, it's not that you didn't believe it, it's just you, you didn't really yeah. act it out, if that made sense. Yeah, mm. like I knew it. And I listened to it on Sunday and I saw it working in my life. And that was just kind of it. So what changed then? Because this is this is interesting because you <laughs> believe all the things that Alpha essentially teaches you. So you already <laughs> had that knowledge prior to yeah. the Alpha course. So what changed then after the Alpha course? Um, I can't, like, that's the question, right? <laughs> It is the it's, question, absolutely. It's the, it's the Holy Spirit, like nothing, you can't see what changes, but everything changes. Like nothing changes, but everything changes. Wow. And okay, I just feel like learning and as well, I knew that we believe in one God, but three, the Holy Trinity. Mm. And I knew that before, but I think I didn't pay too much attention, didn't, didn't have a curiosity to understand it maybe or Mm. explore it. And I think Alpha opens your eyes to the Holy Trinity um, Mm. and really just lit a fire to want to know and understand. And it's the mystery of life. We're not going to like be able to maybe explain Mm. it, um, but just to understand the Holy Trinity and, and to want to want to know more. Yeah, want to know more and wow. actually, yeah, know that the Holy Spirit's our advocate, our comforter. Like, yeah, that was a very deep response. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have to take a yeah. moment just to. Oh man! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful, and I think you kind of almost just nailed it it's like when alpha isn't attempting to say i've got all the answers mm-hmm. alpha is just almost triggering you to to start the journey to, to start yeah. searching yeah that's beautiful all right alex can you top that <laughs> <No>. <laughs> i don't want you to top it but yeah like okay let, let's ask you alex who was god in your life prior to the alpha course um i think uh I think God was um, uh, just a, a great being in the sky, and I knew I could I could trust in Him. Um, but I, I I feel like I didn't really. I feel like I said I trusted Him, but maybe I wasn't because uh, it it would show in in my actions almost, mm-hmm. and. Uh, uh, so I, I think I think what the Alpha course did for me was um, uh, really help me understand that uh, I can I can put my trust in in God and um, <laughs> I think you just said it all there, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> 
You just said it all there. That sigh was all that I needed. <laughs> I know, I know, man, this is a hard question. No, I oh, agree with you. Like, before, yeah, I trust like... him. But hang on, let me just go and sort this problem out myself. Like, let me, like, I trust yeah, you, but that's, let me that's be the, point. I'll take the will and be the, yeah. So it was, yeah. like the, it was the intellectual without the heart, without the actual belief. <laughs> it's, you knew yeah. it, but you didn't yeah. actually believe it. Yeah, it was, it was here. It wasn't here. Yeah. I love how you just breathed out right there. It's like, <laughs> that, that's, I, I can't tell you that is actually like the best response ever. Man. <laughs> because it's really getting stuck on these questions. <laughs> no, no, but credit to you because you're actually thinking about it. A lot of people will just, they'll just generally respond, but they don't realize how big of a question this actually is. Yeah, it's. That's a big question. <laughs> yeah, you went from yeah knowing that God is there to now you're claiming you have a relationship with God, but that's not that's not an easy phrase. So credit to you mm -hmm. for yeah. even tackling that question on. Let's try and let, let's simplify. <laughs> let's try and <laughs> let's try and um, bring it back down to earth, shall we? All right. So you've completed the Alpha course. Beautiful. Congratulations. You've graduated. Now you're saying you want to do it again. <laughs> like that's what I'm hearing, right? Now, what was it? Like, what, what is it that that craving? What specifically is it that you're, you're yearning for once again? Because this answer could actually inspire people to actually come. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> um... Is it the community? Is it the videos? Is it the, the conversations? I think it is the, the it, it is the community. I mean, I think we've got a pretty pretty special community um, in CTR and um, I think just getting to know the people better in in our community is is a major thing. Um, uh, I, I might also add that I I never thought I would do alpha in the first place, and I actually kind of laughed at the at the at the notion. I'm I'm gonna put I'm gonna add that in there because I definitely did not picture myself even doing the course, and um, now I I do feel like doing it again. That is remarkable. That is remarkable. Thank you, God. So, Monica. Mm -hmm. What are you craving for? Because it's you, you've you've gone it all this much, and yet you want to go back and experience it again. Yeah, I feel like there's the topics that we talk about and the faith talks we have. They'll be different every time. Like there's so much in there. Yes. There's so much in there. And even just having a conversation with somebody different who has a different perspective, mm. um, you know, because we kind of were all bouncing off each other and learning from each other and helping each other. Um, so, yeah, I it was a great experience and definitely open to doing it again. Yeah, I I, I think the alpha the conversations that happen in the alpha course they're just so deep. They're yeah. We yearn mm. for these conversations, but people are now boring these days. They speak about such minimal things. So it's it's great to kind of speak about the deep stuff. That's mm. true. I feel like yeah, you almost true. like allocate, when do you ever allocate time in your life to, that's two hours once a week to say, okay, I'm going to try and understand this faith topic a little bit better, or even just for your own self, like mm. come to a realization or a conclusion on what you believe in. We never do that. Like, it's just such an awesome op opportunity, I feel like. Oh, absolutely. Agreed. Alex, I want to ask you a question. You said mm -hmm. that prior to the Alpha course, mass was something that you did every so often, but mm -hmm. not every week. Now, mm -hmm. the reason why I'm intrigued as to why this has now changed is because, once again, people say that Alpha isn't Catholic enough, and yet you're coming to the Catholic mass on a weekly basis. And... I can testify to that because I see you both on a weekly basis. So what is it or what did the Alpha Course do that led you to wanting to come to Mass every Sunday? Um, <clears throat> uh, I, th I think for me, I, I kind of made that, um, I made that decision at, um, at the 
beginning of this year and I said I'm I'm really going to try and go every single week to mass um and that was before the alpha course but um yeah I I I feel like I probably could have easily slipped out of it if I if I hadn't gone to the alpha course okay. and um there was one conversation we had in the course and um, it really stuck with me and it's the fact um, it was um, sometimes God doesn't answer our prayers and um, we, we don't understand why. And uh, we're always asking for things from him and um, we, we don't really give anything back. And I think the main thing I've learned from Alpha is the fact that I do need to worship God and um, I, I really need to put more effort into that. That's remarkable. Praise God, that's such a beautiful answer. I did not expect that answer. So yeah. <laughs> that was wonderful. That was great. Okay. I remember that after the retreat day, the retreat day had... We were there for probably six or eight hours. I can't remember how long. And we were in the chapel and we were praying. And we pretty much had been at, at Marymount with the chapel. And we'd been there all day. And then we left and we got home. And he's like, okay, so let's go to Mass. <laughs> 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 no, we usually go on Sunday. What do you mean? He's like, no, we need to go right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been there all day. It's like, no, yeah. we actually have to attend service and worship. I said, okay, let's go. Yeah. So you left Marymount <laughs> and then you came back to Marymount. Yeah, we, I yeah, think we... I voted. It was vote day. I voted and then we yeah. drove back to Mass. <laughs> God bless. All righty. Yeah. So definitely <coughs> something. Yeah. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> and, and to see you both smiling. It, it's wonderful to see that joy that's coming out of you. Thank now, you. I'm gonna ask you as I'm gonna ask you the same question, but in two different perspectives, and like for both. So I'm gonna ask you first as individuals, and now ask you as a couple. So it gives you a bit of time when the other one's answering for you to think <laughs> about. Okay. Monica, I'm gonna go with you first. As as a woman, because thank God I can call you a woman without being cancelled. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> A whole conversation. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a conversation for another day, my dear. I look forward to that kind of conversation. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say to another woman that you know that needs the alpha course or should come to the alpha course? What would you say to them to persuade them to come along or to at least try to persuade them? I think um While she's thinking, Alex, you get your response ready as well, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> no problem. Take your time. Take your time. On both sides, like, we have so many responsibilities and duties and it's, like, so easy to just get caught up mm. in this world. Um, you know, we all of us have a cross to carry. All of us have, um, you know, these tragedies that go on that can just leave wounds. Mm. And I just think the only true peace, real peace, source of peace that any of us can get in this world is from a relationship with God, from the Holy Spirit leads us to the Son and the Son leads us to the Father. So, you know, what connects with it, learn about it. The Holy Trinity is the center of our catholic faith faith mm. like yeah are you gonna become a theologian like you're just you're, you're tapping into these deep areas man yeah well done that's beautiful that's yeah beautiful. If you and, that sense of peace yeah. you know come along <laughs> yes <laughs> yes <laughs> that's all you need <laughs> alex hopefully you have the time to think about your response how would you persuade and you probably have been trying no doubt the both of you but how would you persuade a fellow brother to come along? Um, 
I think I would tell them, uh, first of all, just to come along and, and see it. Just, just come and see if, mm. if it's not something that is for you, then you don't really need to go back. But, um, I think, I think after that first week, Two weeks. Two weeks. I, 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 I felt it after the first week, okay. but it, it could take a couple of weeks or three weeks for someone else. But, um, yeah, I, I, I really, I was a bit nervous at first when I first went on the first mm -hmm. night. And, um, I think, I think I just felt more comfortable as the weeks went on. And, um, it was, I mean, I, I, I still can't explain like how, <laughs> how much it has changed me. So wow. I, I just, I just say, come along and try, come and see, come yeah. and see yourself. And if it's not for you, then you tried. <laughs> the most powerful words are no words at all. My friend, do not worry about a thing. I'm grasping you hundred percent. All right. So as a couple, then suppose that you were speaking to a couple, let's see if you're, you're, <clears throat> Your minds, your wills are indeed one. As a couple, suppose that you're speaking to another couple. How would you, what would you say to them? It's such a nice thing to do together. Like, think of it as date night. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. No, yeah. but because I liked how we would go together. So you feel that you're walking in with somebody. Not that you have to, you'd be so welcome to come by yourself, yeah. but you get to come, but then you have that, not independence, but you have that time apart in different groups, having different discussions, but then all we would talk about on the way home is the topic. And then we talk about it again the next day. And then you get to keep debriefing and talking about it. So it's so nice to do it with, somebody else yeah just constantly unpacking more and more um mm. especially like just bouncing bouncing things off each other and um and it was also good to not be in the same actual activity group though right yeah i felt like that was good as well um not being in the same group um we, we just got to kind of bounce bounce ideas off each other and um yeah kind of kind of like i guess iron sharpens iron like we'll just kind of say something and that would sharpen me and i would say something that would sharpen her so that's beautiful yeah. god bless that's fantastic so i gave you i think one of the greatest fears that couples have is they worry about running out of things or topics to talk about. So it's like, it sounds like Alpha gave you stuff to talk about, thank God. And something to talk about again. <laughs> God. It has been a wonderful interview. I cannot thank you both enough. Thank Believe it or not, you. it's been 38 minutes. It's been- Oh, wow, I went quick. Time flies. <laughs>